Now I want a zigzag dribble. You've got to visit that side twice, that's your own side twice. You come back down the outside. Now you've got to find a gap through. You might have to drag it, roll it, shift it, but I don't want to see any collisions. This is about awareness, playing with your head up, scanning, checking. The guys behind are the ones who are going to have the problems. Do you understand? Goalkeepers, focus. Don't just kick it in against people. Keep control of that football while you're looking for that space to explode into. But it's got to be a zigzag dribble. Try and use two feet if possible. Off you go again. Get that zigzag. Look for that space. Little changes of pace. Come on, look for that space. Come on, Bill. Big touches, little touches. Work at your own pace coming back, please. Just come round here. Leave your balls. Just come round in front. What sort of touch would you take if there was a lot of space in a front of you? Touch. A bigger touch. So you get it out of your feet. When would you take your little touches? Um, would you have to slow down a little bit then? Slow it down, little touches, move it, shift it, drag it. Now I've got space, explode into. What does that take to explode into it? A change of what? Pace. So try and work on that principle. Big touch when I've got lots of space. When I haven't got space, move it, shift it. But when I see that space, change your pace to get into it. Don't come outside, Jan. Luke, stay inside. Work at your own pace. Coming back, please, boys. Okay, you three spread out. Now, here's the deal. You're going to make three runs. One, two, three. You're doing the same thing. Three runs. One, two. You're going to finish there. Here's the deal for you. You and Parksy now are going to, every time we get it through these dribblers, while they're making three runs, we've got to keep our scores. Now, you've got to get back and forth three times as quickly as possible while keeping control of that ball. Where might you have a problem as the dribblers? This is a clue. So when you get into here, that's when you might have to slow it, drag it, shift it, move it, get that gap, big touch. Now I'd like to see when we get to here, some nice little turn, whether it's a nice little Cruyff turn, drag back. I want to see a nice sharp turn on the line if possible. Are we ready? Off you go. Count those passes. Count those passes. What a lovely pass, Bill. Now, if you can get on the pitch and receive it and turn and go back there, I'm going to give you two goals. So if you find you can get yourself on quickly and will visit, get turned back in there, two goals, and then be ready for the next one. You've got to decide whether you come in to gamble on the two or you stay out to take the one. Off you go. Oh! oh I'm not sure, Will. I'm not sure, Will, if I can give it. Come on, you've got to get your goals in. Oh! Ho, ho. Foxy, what's happened with that one? I might only be able to give three for that because I think you got on and got back without hitting the ball and one pass got through. Two teams of three looking to dribble through each other with a passing team of two. What's the condition for the passing team? When can they pass the ball? When there's, when there's space. And then we try to take it on and say, look, if you're brave enough and you can step into the pressure and receive it on the half turn and drive out because it is a pressure cooker, isn't it? when people are running all over the place, and you can get out to the back to your safety of your line, you get two goals for it. So do you see a picture for me? There's a decision-making process going on there. Do I step in or do I just take the pass? 